Greetings, beloved human family and co-creators. I am Gilles Nancillon, and I thought I come to you very briefly to to discuss the the new energies of the of the coming spring. It is a which a peace to everyone. It is a, a time of uh, crucifixion and resurrection. So it is about the new Gaia, the the, the new Terra. And so it is, it is the greatest shift that we're seeing in relation to that is the shift of consciousness. This new light has awakened millions of souls. They may not be completely aware, but the trigger has happened. And a lot of things have changed in the past few days. For, um, for it is very important to understand that we're all connected to a greater kingdom, a greater universe. Um, but then we, we have to be careful where we reside within that universe and our frequency determines the space of where we we are um, where, where we reside in, in essence in terms of consciousness uh, so the idea is to, to, to allow the physical body to be still and, and the emotional body to be still so you can you can sense a, a higher um, frequency within yourself and of course do not focus on what is unwanted always focus on joy always focus on what is wanted so let uh, let the, the ocean of peace uh, within you settle down. Uh, right now we are moving through uh, the, the understanding of the moon and and, uh, and the sun are in opposition, and so the balance uh, the the, the Aries shows us how to be individualistic and the power of the sun, but the moon reflects us how to work with each other and to bring this into harmony. For when we collect to a collective consciousness, we are adding our energy to that consciousness, and and things grow. Uh, we we do need uh, as as um, when we come to realize that we have this divine light within ourselves, we we then um, see the the mission and the, the purpose of, share, of uh, one of our purpose. Our mission becomes to share whatever we have discovered within ourselves, and we we should seek to enlighten a thousand people so that they may enlighten a thousand people in their turn. But uh, paradoxically speaking, um, in order to enlighten others, it is not by teaching spiritual uh, or teaching what you have discovered, but it's about being in your light, being in your essence. And everybody that comes into this this energy will be feeling that it will be much more efficient than any uh, words can can convey. Just being in in our in our light and and to understand that we are the love we seek. The love that we seek is already within ourselves. We have to, uh, to to discover this paradise perfection and the evolutionary beauty of imperfection. The the process of life from a paradise point of view, cause and effect are one, so there is no time delay, but in time, sometimes times can be delayed. So it is very much about learning, about shedding your skin every day and, and to be reborn each moment, to, to understand, to align how the form and the content may be aligned and may be, um, and, and may, uh, maybe more in harmonious flow so if there if there is anything that prevents you from being in the flow you you know what it is or you think you know and that's what you want to work on in order to allow your life to be full and joy and happiness for this spring and and that is what i wish you for this day i thank you very much for your sharing for your presence for uh, for subscribing commenting if you have any uh, thought on the coming spring and i wish you uh, a wonderful day i'll talk to you later namaste